masked man hired private investigators last month to look into how the Enquirer was able to post text messages between he and his girlfriend. In a blog post, Bezos said a lawyer from the Enquirer's parent company tried to get him to back off the investigation to keep them from publishing explicit photos of the two. That's complicated, but it seems sorted enough that it ought to be simple. To help us uh, through all of this, WOR radio personality, Mark Simone and good friend, great to see you. Great to see you. Jeff Bezos and the National Enquirer squaring off over pictures uh, uh, with his girlfriend, mistress, who knows what. Well, the uh, description, description of the pictures makes it sound like they're pretty graphic. Some naked pictures, some of that kind of stuff. Uh, his, his naked <laughs> photos are wont to be. It's never a great looking guy either. It's always Anthony Weiner or Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, it is it is an ugly and sordid uh, accusation on the part of uh, Bezos against uh, the National Enquirer. Uh, could it possibly be true? I think it's true. I mean, it's pretty much true. Now, he's, uh, it, he has these pictures. He sent them to the girlfriend. He's hired a massive bunch of investigators to figure out who did this. I'm not Sherlock Holmes, but I think I could figure out who leaked these pictures out. She might have given it to a girlfriend, somebody, and they gave it out. I, I, you'd have to talk Accusing, to... In one, uh, one report that I've seen, I, but not verified, if I may be clear about this, uh, it, it was her brother, who is a uh, pro-Trump, yeah. Uh, kind of guy. Sounds like a great guy. Uh, but then accusing him of, uh, well, uh, revealing more than he should have about the relationship. Yeah. Again, I'm not Sherlock Holmes, but it sounds like I think we cracked the case here. Uh, I don't I'm not a lawyer. You have to talk to a lawyer. I don't know if this is actually even blackmail. They lawyer. Weren't... Give me a lawyer. That's what I need. Another <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> Why am I talking to Mark Simone? Lawyers are so much fun. Well, if you're not asking for money or anything in return, they were just asking Bezos to let up on them and not go after them. I don't know if that's even legally, technically blackmail. Why do you suppose Jeff Bezos, of all people, doesn't do exactly what he's always done? Just buy the thing. <laughs> I mean, why talk about these little piddling sums? Just say, all right, uh, David Packer, tell me how much you want. Yeah, well, you, you know, he listen, you said it. He uses the Washington Post as a vanity project. Oh, my God. A $250 million vanity project without operating costs. And there are eight anti-Trump stories every day. Yeah, listen, he should be uh, kind of uh, gone after here, but because everybody hates Donald Trump, they associate him with the uh, oh, I, everybody, everybody. Well, everybody in the media. We love him, but uh, they're going to associate uh, David Pecker, the National Enquirer, with Donald Trump. They're going to make Bezos. Normally, he'd be the villain, the richest man in the world. He'll be the sympathetic figure here. It, it's, it's ridiculous. Uh, the president today, uh, again... Uh, before I get to the president, I, I've got to ask, can, can we roll that uh, of uh, uh, Ocasio-Cortez again announcing her dream? Uh, <laughs> dream or, I'm told that if, if the audience will be patient, please. Well, I, I, I happen to like this plan. I think it's a very good plan. I don't like setting the alarm clock. You got to get dressed, go to work, spend the whole day there. This is better. You stay home, you get a check. And you don't have to get in airplanes because you're not using fossil fuel anymore. Here we go. This is... Uh, a, 